Hey guys, Joe here, cancer battle update. What is it, September 13th, two days after 9-11. Glad to uh, have you guys stop around. Got a little bit of talking to do, just a couple updates as far as stuff I'm dealing with and stuff I'm going around, going, you know, going through like anyone else. So stick around, we'll discuss those topics and see what else we'll get into. Hey guys, Joe here. Instead of feeling sorry for myself, I decided to document my struggle with cancer in hopes of helping someone else. Join me in conquering this disease and together we will build a brand new you. Remember, there is hope. It's not the end. Hey guys, Joe Rachel here making a little video as I drive myself to work here this morning. So I uh, just wanted to share a little bit about this prednisone, man, because wow, is this this drug is something else. So in the beginning, it made me retain a bunch of water. It made me gain weight. It made me ferociously hungry for junk food, which kind of sort of has been tapering off over the months. But now it hits me much more like mentally. My goodness, the, the body symptoms are not really uh, affecting me anymore, which is good. But boy, it makes you kind of like down and sluggish, frustrated, short-tempered, and just generally unpleasant to be around. <laughs> oh my goodness. And it's like, just crabby, man. You're crabby. I could see where it would be really bad for probably some people. And especially if they were taking it long term, wow. So we got that, we're dealing with that. It's very interesting. The sleep hasn't been good lately. Haven't been able to really keep keep a good night's sleep the whole night. That's been, been another thing that's been really tough. And um, still with my voice, I don't know, man. It really seems to ramp up though as I'm through the treatment process. Like while I'm on the prednisone. I think that when I read that too, that it can affect and give you hoarse voice. So I had hoarse voice. And I think honestly it would be gone right now. But I think the prednisone made it stick around. Which is really kind of, uh, it's one thing I'm really looking forward to uh, getting rid of. My goodness, this horsey voice, so that sucks. Uh, there's a couple other things too, I can't think of them right now offhand here. Um, had an episode with my pump where I left the infusion center and they left one of the clamps on and my pump went off shortly after like an alarm and um, just was like scary like what's going on and I ended up having that happen one other time too the first time I drove all the way back and then they found a clamp was stuck on so no big deal so yesterday I actually knew of that and still shocking enough I look at the screen on the pump and it's um, basically the same situation, so I had to turn that, undo the clamp. So, interesting times, interesting times. Sorry about the camera there. Just turn the, whoa, we got some serious flooding over here. Wow. So that's the way I normally go to work, but I guess, or sometimes go to work. But I guess we're not going that way today. <laughs> No worries, we'll go this way. It's a brand new road anyway. So you guys, uh, so yeah, guys, if you, uh, wondering how things are going for people out there. I know people are dealing with the same stuff I'm dealing with, worse. I see people in the different groups I'm on in Facebook. Some of them you can't even look at. There's so much negative vibe and so much acceptance of what we're going through and acceptance even of death and uh, it's hard to look at 
So I recommend people are like that because I think that is very deadly. I think it's really, really, really dangerous for you to have that sort of disposition. And then I have other groups where people are upbeat and I'm in a group that I'm not really ready to, to disclose yet that is proven to be really awesome, loaded with knowledge and information, sort of is centered around uh, sort of a taboo, sort of uh, healing regimen, so I'm kind of, I'm going to hold off on that for a little bit, but I'll end up sharing it, I'm sure, I'm going to get permission. I'm not sure if they want to be shared on a video like this, so I don't want to, I want to violate that uh, sort of trust that I've gained by being accepted to the group, so I'm going to wait a little bit on that, so no big deal, guys, hang in there, be strong, be courageous, to, there's a word in Hebrew that means that, be strong and courageous, Hazak, that's the word. Hazak, be strong and courageous. So uh, hang in there. Remember, there is hope. It's not the end. Got people out here fighting this struggle, fighting this battle with you. And it is hard. It does take a toll. I haven't been making as many videos lately because I've just been not feeling them. Just feeling blah. Don't want to do nothing. And I'm trying to fight through that because been like that during my treatment fatigue feeling just tired and just kind of uh, blah, run down and not full of energy so try to avoid that love you there is hope it's not the end and we shall talk to you soon all right all right take care